guys, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel for a Nifty Knitting review. <laughs> so Nifty Knitting is the new stuff pack that came out for The Sims 4 and actually I was really interested in it because I feel like it will, I haven't seen anything of it yet, I feel like it will give something new to elders which is what I've wanted in this game for a long time because I'm a family Sims player and whenever my sims turn into elders they kind of just are there so hopefully this will add a new element for them and it actually adds it for i'm pretty sure children to elders so even kids can knit basically just the start of this we're going to look at some of the cosmetics that came with nifty knitting and we have this very handsome model that kind of just like i literally popped into create sim and he popped up so super handsome let's take his glasses off though okay so we have the f there's only three hair hairs for guys uh which are kind of just pretty basic this one though i would love to use for elders what does it look like with the like grayish oh my god that's so cute the only thing is that like the root is like super blunt and like a lot lighter than the rest of the hair but whatever it's not that big of a deal um, let's see if it's the same for children. Let's see if they've gotten any new hairs. They have, and they look the same, uh, so they just don't have the one with the gray hair in it. So, and I don't know about toddlers. I highly doubt anything new. Yeah, nothing new came for toddlers, uh, at least for the boys. Okay, so back to the young adult males. We have a few new tops, which I think already look super cute and like kind of dorky which i love uh we have this one that has a stripe in the middle i wonder if you can like knit these this one i don't i'm not a fan of the colors honestly like it's a cool idea i like this one but the colors not really my thing on a lot of them this one's nice and so is this one but yeah uh this i saw in the trailer i thought this was absolutely hilarious i'm pretty sure it's something you can what the hell? Why can you? Oh my god, you can like take shirts off that way now. I did not know that. For some reason, I thought this was just going to be something that you were able to sew. I didn't think you could actually put it on in Create a Sim. But yeah. And then we have this, which is a jacket with a scarf. Why is it locked? Requires knitting skill level 9 to craft. Same with this one. Okay. So like maybe it's just you can wear the original color and you have to knit different colors i'm not really sure so there is one new pair of pants for the guys which are just a basic uh cuffed jean which i'm fine with i think they're absolutely adorable um i actually really like this color with the, the shirt but yeah i don't think there are gonna be any shoes if i'm honest yeah there are no shoes for the guys but I actually really like the stuff that we did get. There is also a new hat for the guys, which I feel like is going to be for everyone. It's this little animal hat with two puffs on it. I think it's super cute. And then you need to up your knitting skill to uh, change the color, I guess. But yeah, I think that's actually really cool. Like you can't just get everything that you can knit in Create a Sim. You have to like level up your sim to be able to craft certain colors of certain items i think that's awesome actually uh let's see if there's any accessories no there's no accessories for the guys there is also a new aspiration called lord of the knits <laughs> which is this sim has yarn running through his veins and will stop at nothing on his quest to craft the perfect knittable okay now moving on to the ladies it seems like we have quite a bit of hair for them um three of them are the same as the guys so i guess the women only got two new hairs of their own so we have this which i love this it is so cute oh my gosh and then we have this one which is actually really lovely i love the gold beading i wonder if it changes by hair color yeah it seems like it does i wish you could change it like individually like have different options at the bottom so like if i wanted silver on the darker hair that i could any new accessories no any new makeup i doubt it no new makeup 
So for the women, for full outfits, they get this cute little dress with a knitted cardigan, which I think is super cute, and you need to up your knitting skill to change the colors of it, which I'm actually starting to really like that feature. And then we have the same uh, top that the men have. I think it's hilarious. We have a tank top that looks knitted, which is really cute. Uh, you don't need to up your knitting skill to change this one. I really like this one. Oh my gosh. That's super cute. I love it. And then we have this, which looks like a regular top with something knitted or like crocheted into it, which I really like. I think it's adorable. It's so cute. The You can like literally see the texture on the shirt. That is so awesome. Oh, they have different styles too. They have like roses at the top. <gasps> this shirt is so cute. And then we have this, which I feel like is kind of similar to what the guys have. Um, and it's really similar to this. These are not much different. And for both of them, you need to up your knitting skill to level nine to do. And then for the bottoms, we have these jeans that look like there's been sequins like put on them, which are super cute. Uh, they're cuffed at the bottom and I think these are adorable, actually. And then we have the same cuff jeans that the boys have. I doubt they have any new shoes. Oh, actually they do. They have a pair of boots that have like knitted socks at the top. This was like a huge thing when I was in high school. <laughs> like during the fall, people would do this all the time. So for the girls and children, they have the same two hairstyles. And then we have the same one with the beads. But there are no um, shorter hairs, like the same ones that the adult women have and the adult men have, which I think is kind of disappointing. I really wish we could have gotten them for the girls too. So actually for the toddlers, they did get new outfits, which we have this, which is so cute. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it. I can see myself using this all the time. And then we have a little onesie, which has an elephant on it and you can't change the color until you up your knitting skill. Okay, so for furniture, it really doesn't look like we got that much, but then again, it's, I don't know, what, what could you really do for like a knitting stuff pack? So it looks like we get four new rocking chairs. I, shouldn't say new I should say four rocking chairs I'm pretty sure these are the only rocking chairs we have which they look oh the only difference is the arms I was like they look the same uh but these two have arms and these two don't oh you could get it in pink I love that I actually think these are oh my gosh <laughs> I love this and then just the same thing for the ones with the arms they have the same colors uh and then we have a love seat and a sofa which are cute oh, oh my gosh I love that one I want to see it in this one that's so cute I love it they have like little nif nifted knitted pillows and then we have a hallway table oh and it has a little chalkboard on it with the sheep that's knitting that's so cute oh my gosh the picture changes when you change the color but I really like the ones with the with the sheep on it. That's so cute. I could imagine myself putting this in a kid's room. And then there's also a desk that is full of knitting supplies. Holy. Really cute. Um, and then a storage desk, which I don't really know what this does. Uh, maybe it's like something you store all your knitting supplies in. But even though all the other tables look like they have knitting supplies... Um, I really like this one. Oh my gosh. Can you use this like a functional desk? I want to know. I guess we can see later. What is this? Little house shelf. Oh, it's a shelf. We have a pegboard, which I see these all the time in like workplaces like Home Depot and stuff. And it has like a little design on the back. And I really- Oh, that one's really cute. It has a little chef- chevron? Chef- Maybe a chevron design. <laughs> and then this. I wonder if you can actually put something in this like- Oh, the decorative yarn ball we can put in that. Uh, this is the yarn basket, which I'm pretty sure is what you need to knit. So, cool. Can you get it in different colors? Yeah, you can. Oh my gosh, it's super cute. I love that. And then we have a beginner's yarn basket. Would this be like for kids? I feel like this would be for kids. And then we have a dream shelf, which looks kind of like the storage station. 
Oh, well, maybe not. But kind of. Like a smaller version of it. It has like the stuff over here. And then it has a design in the back. And then we also have festive felt flowers, which looks like something else that goes on the wall, which has like flowers in pots that are covered in knitted like holders, which is super cute. Tabletop loom. Oh my gosh. That is so detailed. Oh my gosh, it changes with the different colors. Like how much is done, the pattern. And then we have the Knitter's Almanac, which looks like a book and a bunch of yarn and stuff around it. Scissors, measuring tape. I wonder if you can actually like use this stuff. And then we have more embroidery wall decorations, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Does it change with the different colors? Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh. I love it. Look at that. I'm such a, this is like ocean stuff. Oh my gosh. Everyone gets a peg, pegboard. So this is like a larger keg board. Keg board? Peg board. Sorry, my brain isn't working. It has so much stuff on it. It has a hot glue gun, scissors, and then it comes in different colors, which doesn't really change the design. I mean, it does, but only up here. And then we have one more thing, which is just a craft cart. I wonder, like, I really want to see if you can actually use any of this stuff, like click on it and get actions from it. So it looks like you can't click on that. Can you click on this? Wow, you can't even use this stuff. You can't even use the loom. Oh my gosh, that would have been so cool if you could use the loom. Can you really not? Knit. The object must be in the Sims inventory to begin knitting. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this in her inventory. Knit beanies. Oh my gosh, we can start with beanies. <gasps> These are like the beanies in Creative Sim. <laughs> Just in different colors. I wanna do the, uh... Oh, look at her in her rocking chair. So cute. She's like, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I actually really like it. I'm kind of disappointed that you can't use like the almanac and the loom. At least we can sit in a rocking chair and knit, right? <laughs> uh -huh. So it's literally like growing the more she goes, but it doesn't look like what she's actually knitting. I feel like something else might come out of it. Either that or this is just the animation and it's what it always looks like. Oh, wait, she's done. So can I wear it? Add to wardrobe. Oh my gosh, look at all of them sitting in the rocking chairs is now available for all household members in Creative Sim. Oh my gosh, that's so cool, actually. And then there's also something called Plop, which... Oh yeah, Browse Plopsy, which is like a new place you can sell and buy items. Oh my gosh. I want to get that. So cute. So, oh my gosh. 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 What is that? That is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It's a little Grim Reaper. Well, anyways, guys, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video for Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack review. Um, I actually really like it in the end. I think it's going to add gameplay for elders and other sims, maybe even for kids, because kids really don't have a lot of things to do. But yeah, I think it's a, a good pack for being a stuff pack and I think you guys should definitely check it out. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. Check out my social media links down below and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.